Hi, Lisa is Lisa from Local King Robert's Den. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful background. It's very easy and so simple you won't believe after you watch this tutorial. So this is what the final project looks like. And uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you what's the best way to get the background stamp image. So we haven't had a new background stamp for a while, so at this moment we have a full brain, uh, brand new background stamp. We have a, um, the re rever reverse um, snowflake background and I'm going to do a tutorial. This um, background stamp is different with other background stamp because they have reverse image. Something like that. So I'm going to have a new tutorial coming soon. We have a sound melody and the musical background stamp. We have this bamboo um, forest and the awesome tutorial coming soon and today we are going to use this morning dew to do the fantastic car. So if you haven't um, heard about it or Magic Mushroom yet, um, make sure you check our website or on our website we have uh, all the information about uh, what those uh, Magic Mushroom and also we have a great promotion for the first 100 set. We are almost reached our limit now. If you would, would like to reserve a set of our Magic Mushroom room, um, try to um, do it as soon as possible because uh, our great offer is almost run out. Okay, so do you have a stamp positioner um, yet? If you have one, congratulations, that's a great tool. I do use um, um, a lot. If you don't have it and you're low in the budget, don't worry about it. Watch our tutorial number 45. We teach you how to use a DVD case or CD case to create your own stamp positioner. It's good to have one, but today I'm going to show you um, how to get the best background stamp image. Okay, so we are going to definitely use our magic mushroom and uh, for the past few tutorial, I was introduced our new product and make sure you watch the tutorial from I think 85 to 90. Um, those awesome tutorials to show you how to use our magic mushroom and you could love it. If you haven't get a chance to check it out, make sure you check it out. So we're gonna use the Saison and uh, I'm using both glossy paper and the MAC cardstock and also we are going to use the um, Memento impact or you can use the Distress or the Marvi or any die based impact will work just fine. Okay, so most of the background stamp is almost look like A2 size. It's almost like a 4.25 by 5.5. It's kind of like a big stamp. So if you have a good, like a big acrylic block, that's good. And uh, I just couldn't find it where's my uh, acrylic block. So I found all these C6 uh, crown plates. Or what you can do is uh, no need to buy one. You can use uh, your Dica machine that the plate that will do too. So, but today I'm going to show you how to stamp your image without a color block because when you use a big stamp, it's always hard to, you got to push so hard and sometimes the pressure is not even, you probably miss a corner and then when you put your stamp on a, um, a color block and make sure there's no bubble there. But today I'm going to show you a technique, it actually can solve all the problem and then you will get the, the best image ever. So it's a good idea to have a, a, a stamp positioner, uh, but if you don't have one, that's okay. If you have a stamp positioner when you want to ink your background stamp, I would suggest you to rub your background stamp instead of a tapping. So rubbing is the best way to ink all your stamp because that way we can see everywhere is nicely ink and then after you ink everywhere just gently tap 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 so that's how you ink your background stamp and then when you put your um, stamp on the um, any acrylic block surface make sure there's no bubble no air between and we're going to just give a nice firm press so even though you have a stamp positioner cannot guarantee that you still get a good image see even i use my stamp positioner here i am still missing some of the, the image here so what i'm going to do is we are going to use impact again make sure gently rub your surface and take a look at where it's missing 
as I can to find out. Here's missing, here's missing, here's missing. So when I press my stem positioner, make sure I can press hard enough. So that's much better. Okay, I'm going to show you my stamping technique without any acrylic block, without uh, um, stem positioner, and the Let's see what's look like. So I'm using both uh, super glossy cardstock and I'm using the matte cardstock. So we are still, you. what are you going to do? You just place your big background stamp on the table. Okay. Just like that. And then you are going to use your stays on. I'm Stays on the stamp after you use for a while. Make sure you clean with the staples on cleaner because this ink does deposit on your stamp. After a while, you won't get a um, detailed image anymore. So make sure you clean your stamp after a few times. Stamp. Okay, so we are going to do the glossy paper first, and I'm going to do the regular card stuff. So you are going to just put your card directly on top of this ink stamp. And you are going to use a piece of scrap paper, just protect your finger. This way, I guarantee you, every time you stamp your background stain, it's going to get a perfect image. Sometimes I uh, made a beautiful card, and then when I'm in the final stage of um, stamp my background stamp, I always screw up, and then I have to start all over again. So this way, I'm going to show you, this is the best way you get your See? Nice, sharp, and clean. Okay, so I am going to show you a quick coloring. Um, you won't believe me. Each card is probably under 10 seconds. So, um, on the, these two cards, I stem on the good coated matte cardstock, and the least one I stamping on the glossy. And remember, glossy paper is not photo paper. If you want to use a glossy paper, you got to use the um, special coated glossy uh, cardstock that they work well with. That that work with the uh, regular die base uh, impact. Okay, so first one, we are going to try this blue and we only need three different colors. So this is my blue mushroom. Last time after I used it, I didn't even bother to clean it. So you can, if you, when you apply on your scrap paper, you can tell this kind of blue there. So what you're going to do is you can use just a shaming or a wet cloth, kind of just squeeze all the um, color on top. And then you are going to use a, a Kleenex kind of dry the washroom, kind of absorb the, the ink. And after you do that, see, they don't really have a color on top. And then when you want to use those uh, um, magic mushroom, always remember start with a light color first. Because when you use a lighter color on top, and then you add the medium and the dark color, um, the light color, the darker color will uh, cover the light color. But if you start your mushroom with a dark color, you won't be able to um, use a lighter color unless you clean your mushroom, okay? So always start with a lighter color and we use this light color, summer sky. And then you kind of just rub a little bit here. This is a very, very light blue. And we kind of just rub here. And you can see if I compare with these, the one is stain, one is not. It's a very, very light blue. And then we're going to pick out the darker color, this is Bahama blue. So always try to testing on your scrap paper before you start on your main piece. And then we just find any spot. Kind of just rub on top. You push harder, the color is darker. You release a little bit pressure, the color is a little softener. See, that's really pretty already, right? And then we're going to pick out a little bit um, darker color. This is the number 60. And then just find the spot. Voila, that's the first card. Did I promise you? Just like that, under 10 seconds. Okay, so second color, we're going to use uh, green. So that's a uh, um, number 704, New Sprouts, number 703, Pier Tart, and number 710, Cartage Ivy. Okay, so just like I say, you can use uh, any dye base ink pack, they will work. And always remember light, medium, dark. And then we are going to use or 
stem image again and make sure this stays on is completely dry and then when um, you uh, for the black image you got to use the uh, water resist impact like it stays on uh, because uh, in, uh, memento impact is water based if you use the water base uh, for your black color when you rub the color they will um, smear so make sure you use the water resist um, black impact so again, we're going to use uh, our green mushroom here. So we're going to start with a lighter color. And then this is something else that's very important. When you apply um, your lightest color, the paper, okay, just do few spots, okay? Don't color everywhere. And then we're going to remove the second color, always testing on your scrap paper, and then change the spot. And we're going to do the darkest color Voila, three color, good enough. Okay, and we're going to try this color. Um, I use a yellow, orange, and the kind of magenta color. Well, you try to use any color you like, and anything when you um, stamp it, if surprise might happen, so they all going to look awesome. Okay, let's try this one. So, or, um, Magical mushroom set comes with 10 colors and 10 different color sponge head. So you that will help you to keep your, your color clean. So like this one, I want to use my yellow and I just use my yellow mushroom and just uh, remember change the spot. Don't try to color everywhere. And then I use my orange, okay. I don't really have to clean it. And then you can kind of blending the blending the color together. They are totally able to do the blending. It's awesome. And we're going to use the least magenta color. And then every time they all looks different. Voila! The third one. Okay, so blue green and kind of warm color, which one is your favorite? And then what we're going to do next is we are going to use our 2019 fall new design. This is our combo set. They come with a stem and the two die cuts for only $24.99. And we have a great promotion on our website now. Just make sure you check it out. And uh, so this one, I kind of, I really pre-stamped it and the pre die cutter. See, Local King's uh, um, die cut is uh, so detailed. They, um, they don't have that wide big gap between the cutting image. They are right, the cutting line is right next to the, to the, to the image. They also cut between, and the die cut is not just do the die cut, they also do the embossing. We're going to have a more tutorial coming out to show you how. So for this car, I kind of lose the, the, the frame. So one combo set is actually too many different kind of possibility. Make sure you check out other tutorial. We have 90 plus awesome tutorial to give you all the great idea. So this one, I just lose the frame and I put a piece of vellum on top. I kind of tear the vellum here because uh, our background is very rich already. So when you put, if you like it, just go for it, why not? But I found out it's a little bit too busy. So what I did is I just add a piece of vellum on top and then kind of break, um, try to make uh, the background back off a little bit. And the one thing you want to um, make sure because the vellum is kind of transparency and I found out when I used the double side tape, it kind of shows um, the tape so you want to try to avoid that they do have some kind of double side tape is invisible I uh, just uh, I just found out after made this card so when you place um, when you tape your vellum um, try to put the vellum at this corner and then when you put the flower on top they will hide that um, double side tape under Okay, so Local King's die cut is already very, very detailed and the die cut line is right next to the stamp image, but sometimes I still find that little white space is kind of annoying. So what I do is I would love to use my magic mushroom, just pick up some color, this is a potter's gray, or some kind of um, ochre color. Um, you just gently give a little bit touch up around the edge of these die cut pieces so that will soft edge and when you 
um, glue it on your final piece, uh, it's going to look much nature. Okay, so blue, green, or red. Which one is your favorite? So the car size for this, uh, this car is 3.75 by 5 inches. And for the silver layering is a 4 by 5.25. And then the black car stock is a 4.25 by 5.5. So that's it something easy i hope you like it thank you for watching our tutorial we have a more tutorial coming make sure you subscribe our youtube channel or follow us on the facebook or like us up on the facebook we don't set uh, we don't send the newsletter out every time when we have a new tutorial you don't want to miss it and then make sure you check out our website we have a great promotion is a is on now is going to end by the end of this uh, month you don't want to miss it 20% off for everything online the regular price except the pre-order item or on sale item thank you for watching i see you next time